Craig Charles is very famous for lots of things, yes, and we'll cool. be listing those in our famous four-line intro with Zegna later. Uh -huh. yep. uh -huh. But today, because we love you viewers, and you can say thank you at this point, Ziggy, if you like. I'd just like to say thank you to all our viewers <sighs> for, for sticking with this true thick and thin. Right. Hey, 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 don't think we don't appreciate it, okay? Because we do. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in a tribute, as a tribute to that, we're going to do all Mad Mail and all faxes today, just yep. for this bit, because we do love you. Just this First bit. of all, Mad Mail. Tut, 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 tut. <laughs> tut. <laughs> What's this? Of course, there's always a few people who send in mad mail that's just a little bit over the barrier of good taste. Right. And that there's a book of bottoms that was sent <laughs> to my brother, and I intercepted it. I intercepted it, Christopher, luckily enough. And uh, I'll only let him read that at Christmas. Which of the following foods most reminds you of bottoms? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> The following are typical Christ dream symbols for the bottom, which no. these things is most likely to appear in your dreams, the post office tower, an articulated lorry, or a gothic mansion. Ooh. Bizarre, it's the Book of Bottoms and in there. That's, from Trevor. that's from Trevor Daniel Martin Martin? in York, and you should be ashamed of yourself. We bottom. like it. You can have that, you can read that later. Yeah. Oh, and, um, What's this? Um, what is it? Um, it's a credit card. It's a Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy credit card sent in. Uh, Ziggy got a credit card, boy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was sent in from Amy, and uh, quite so nice. I think I'll probably hold on to it, Chris. OK, I don't think you he's noticed I mean? anyway. So. Not? Okay, no, no, no. Just... Thanks, Amy. Uh, faxes now, please. Faxes! We've never done them faxes. before. Yes, yeah. yeah. faxes, faxes in the bathroom. You do get a lot of faxes, you two. Faxes this in the one, bathroom. This fax says, and we're going to say huge, big, fat, huge, massive, big, wow, hi to John Fletcher. Hi, and John. Said, but her, her husband, Alan husband. Fletcher, and, and he's from M somewhere in Barnsley. That's and nice. Well, read, hi. Barnsley. Yeah. Barnsley. Barnsley. Yeah, Barnsley. Yeah. Barnsley. Okay, and who else is this one and then? This one's from um, someone called Susan and Bunty. Yes. Yeah. And what it's about? I don't know. It's about a guy who talks about the crunch all the time about Zig and Zag. Yeah. He stuck you on all his work folders, and he's got a very responsive job for Guardian Print in Edinburgh. And he said they said he'll die if his name gets mentioned by Zig, and his name's Ross McMillan. Ross, Ross McMillan! Oh, no! Yeah. He's seriously Ross, gonna die! You're mad! You're a farmy! You're crazy! Okay, you can fax Zig and Zag if wow. you want to, 108 195 Or you as can. As long as it this. doesn't hurt! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> or you can write to him at this point. Okay, don't forget, we've got Craig Charles coming up, we've got computer games. Craig computer Charles. games today. What, what are the computer games? The, what are the computer games, yes. Chris? They are a surprise. Oh. That's what they are. <laughs> you mean you haven't stuck them on your radiator yet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah no, not yet. <laughs> okay, then. And now? And now, a question about the clip is, what happens next? But remember, don't phone. It's just for fun. In here, we can be anything we want to be. I'll see you on the inside. <laughs> Um, none really, none. Not really, that's very no. 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 worst question. No. Because no. You weren't even recently. You weren't even coming. You went, Craig, what's in my ass? Emergency question. Can I Craig, Craig. What, what, what? How many planets have you flown to? lost you Well, just think about it all a little bit more then. Try it, okay. <laughs> hey, Craig, welcome to the bathroom. Craig, yeah. It's Craig Charles here. Yes. 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 Okay, yes. famous four line intro. You can get yourself back with this now. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Outrageous, cheeky, chappy, scouts in your house comic, Craig Charles, has a TV CV as long as your arm. His TV credits include Craig Goes Mad in Woo. Melbourne and Only Fools in Turkey. Woo. But he is most famous for playing Lister in BBC Two's Excellentos Red Dwarf, which blasts off for a sixth series on Thursday six night. Sixth series, Mrs. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Good. All right, then. Yeah. yeah. Craig, come in, you want to look red? red. So you come back and you look all little. I look little, mate. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 you look little again. Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little Craig, he's got little Craig there. Yeah. He's got little Chris, you see. Yeah. They're big Chris and big Sid, Craig. Sid, stop pressing that button. <laughs> right, we've got questions for you, and the first one comes from Ziggy Dabo. Ziggy Dabo! Thank you, Chris and Baby! Oh, <laughs> uh, Craig Charles, Craigie, Craigie, Wakey, Wakey Charles, is it true that you've got an answer for everything? Uh, yeah. Right then, well, uh, good. Well, then you'll know the answer to how many neutrons are in an atom, then. Ah, in a, in a stable atom, yeah. the number of neutrons should equal the number of protons. But you can read all about this from the Craig Charles Almanac of Total <laughs> Knowledge. <laughs> 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 on Box 3. Oh, I'm going to go the right way up. Follow the side now. Yeah. Yeah. What were we saying? Second of all. What a cheeky, chippy, chappy. <laughs> Craig! He's a real scouser in the house. Craig! Craig! Yeah. Craig! Yeah. Craig. 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 yeah. Has the Red Dwarf ever orbited the planet Zog? I don't know. In the new Red Dwarf, uh, Lister gets drunk and forgets where he's parked. Red oh, Dwarf. No. So it could be orbiting your planet right what now. What if he wow. gets clamped? Yeah, he could get wheel clamped by a Janet. Oh, God. By... Janet? <laughs> by, 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 by a Janet. By, <laughs> by a giant space by clamp. By a commissioning editor of uh, children's programs for the BBC, too, in fact. Uh, uh, question number three. Craig Charles, can you so name three other famous people with two first names as you have? Oh, uh, George Martin, George Michael, Peters and Lee, and Tony <laughs> Curtis. Wow, Tony, Tony Curtis, Curtis is good. Yeah, yeah. classic. Tell me the other ones we had. We only had Peter Duncan, in fact, yeah. which is a bit sad, but there you go. <laughs> All right, computer game time now. Uh, I believe you've got, you have an ally. Oh, yes, indeed, indeed, Craig, because I know I watched your programme there. Uh, um, what was it called? <laughs> oh, Cyber Zone, which was really, really quite Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> yeah. right. And I gave one this week. It's called <laughs> Out to Lunch, and it's on the Super Nintendo. Actually, this is quite good. I'm Out to Lunch. You are Pierre Le Chef, but unfortunately, all the ingredients you need for your pièce de résistance have come alive and done a runner from the fridge. You must whisk your way through 48 levels of culinary mayhem, Chris, to get them back and return for dinner. This is a funky idea and the graphics are well detailed, but the basic idea remains the same throughout. As if that could really yeah. happen. No, the little could dog. Not, because you it can't does. jump onto clouds. At this moment, it's 49.99, Craig. For how much? 49.99. Oh, cheap at half the price. <laughs> You like that yeah. one, you get your whole landing done for that they're business. Not the, they're not the kind of computer games I'm really into. They're not kind of realistic. Either. Okay. It's one of these right, six you're kind of into the uh, virtual reality stuff. I like the virtual reality stuff, but like those football games where the footballers look like real and they do overhead kicks yeah. and dive and headers. Yeah, funny, uh, we haven't got any of those today. Yeah. Marks out of ten, like Marks out of ten. Oh, it's a good game, you know, if you're into oh, it. Oh, good so, game. Like eight, 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 good game, good game, good game. Eight, game number two. Okay. It's called The Secret Mission, and it's on Super Nintendo. You are an officer at the space station Tiger Claw, and your top secret mission is to divert the Denim sector to provide support for Gonar 2 Colony. Which really means you have to get in your plane and fire those missiles till there's no tomorrow. It's certainly not a game for the scaredy cats. It's fast paced and exciting. Fast paced. Needs a lot of precision, Chris, and concentration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the money to buy it, no doubt. Well, forty nine ninety nine, in fact. It's a lot of money, these games. A lot of money, Chris. A lot, a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's a lot, a lot of money. Hey, 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 it's huge eight. money, isn't it? Huge, huge, huge money. It's huge money. It's big people's money. Yeah. It's like Steve McManaman money. Yeah. Steve McManaman? Yeah. Yeah, Steve McManaman? Steve McManaman? Steve McManaman? She works out a 10 for that. That's good. That looks kind of quite realistic. So I'll give that a 9. Big 9. Okay, Big and you nine. should know because you've been in a spaceship. I've been in a spaceship. See, that's how you know it's quite See? realistic. Game number. Techno Clash on the Sega Mega Drive. You are the cute and pudgy little trainee wizard, and the evil engine men have stolen your boss's magic fiddlestick. You must summon the power of your trusty spellbook to get it back and so defend the inner realm. Check this out, and you won't be disappointed, ladies and gentlemen. This stunning graphics and variation in atmosphere and tension make this an original type of role playing shoot em up. And it's out. In your shops right now, forty nine ninety nine. Sega Mega Drive. Plug alert. Stop! Oh, stop, no, that, no, 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 no. stop that! Stop that! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> it's it's waterproof and chewable. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, marks out of ten for that. You don't um, care anymore. Do I don't care about that, that one. Wizards, Dungeons and Dragons, and all. It's it's not We've really. We've seen it all before. We've seen it all before. It's been done. Yeah. Yeah. And it's still of course forty no four ninety nine. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay, well that's it. That's all about all we've got time for. Yep. Zig, is there anything else you'd like to say to I'd the just world? like to say to everyone, 
Don't you think that Take That are just the nicest guys in this pop <laughs> business that you could ever possibly come across? I Have you ever met them, Greg? Greg? No, I've oh, never met them. So oh, you are really nice. They're just lovely. Take the question really. about the clip. Who's behind the blue? Remember, no, 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 Gabby no, 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 the question about the clip. Well, oh, okay. It's time she ended my Gabby, you did it. Gabby! 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 Like somebody might even say four pounds extra. 